the grade four math practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, we're in question number 22. John has 200 buttons. So I'm just going to make a little note to myself over here that John is rocking it with 200 buttons. I wonder if they're like the type that you put on that say funny things or, or whatever, or they're like the type on a shirt. Who knows? Um, he has five times as many buttons as Marky has. So here's the thing about this. John has five times the amount than Marky has. So this actually matters a lot because it's a matter of perspective. Marky has less than John. So we have to work it backwards. So if we have Marky's buttons and five times that amount is equal to 200. So we need to figure out how many buttons that Marky has. And once we have that, we can get on to the next part of our question which says, how many buttons do John and Marky have together? And since it's have together and we're adding them, I'm just going to put a plus there just as a reminder that I need to be do some, doing some adding here somewhere. In fact, I might go ahead and put 200 plus down here, and then I'll figure out what Marky is and put that down. That way I can keep all the pieces in motion. Because the easy thing to do here is, well, there's two likely things that you do wrong. The first is that you multiply 200 times 5, and you just put that answer here. The other thing you could do is follow this first step, but not finish it up and answer the question that they ask. It's important that when they ask a question, you actually answer what they're, or actually tell them what they're asking for. If you just answer some part of the question correct, you could end up getting the whole question wrong because you're not answering what they're asking you about. So you have to make sure that you do. Anyway. So since I know that Marky times 5 equals 200, if I want to go the opposite direction, if I want to figure out, well, how do I get down here, I'm going to use the opposite operation. So it was once times 5, and I forgot. Um, I could put the X there. I'm used to teaching at the high school, so um, or at the high school level, so we use a dot a lot for that, but times 5. So instead, we're going to do the opposite of that to figure out what Marky's value is. So we're going to do 200 divided by 5. And this is a calculator allowed section, so I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Not for very long, anyway. It's rude to stare, anyway. 200 divided by 5 gives me 40. So that goes here. And if you wanted to do this way, feel free. Uh, 5 can't go into 2, but it can go into 24 times. And if you wanted to do a little factor list over here, or multiples list, I should say, over here to help. That's fine. And then that cancels and bring this down, and it's nothing, so that's where the 40 is. But again, once we find out how many buttons Mark he has, I'm going to put that here and get to my final answer, 200 plus 40, which is 240. So that is my final answer. What's difficult about this question? There's a few things. Number one, you have to understand perspective. John has 200 buttons. He has five times as many as Marky, which means Marky has less buttons. So this number has to be less than this one. Otherwise, it's not set up the correct way. But if we're given a operation in the question, which is times, is definitely an operation. To go the other direction, we have to use the opposite operation, which the opposite of multiply is, of course, divide. That's where I got this 40 from. Then I have to take that 40 and go back here. What is likely to be missed, a couple things. You do 200 times 5 and you write 1,000 in there. That's wrong. You do 200 divided by 5 because you were understood what you're supposed to do, and you get 40, and you write 40 in there. That's still incorrect because it doesn't answer the question they are asking, and they will do that all the time. They, the test makers love to do stuff like that. They love for you to do a bunch of work and then get no credit for it. I don't know why. I don't know what it says about them as people. Who knows? But make sure that you have, when you realize what you're trying to figure out, you make some statement somewhere on your paper to remind yourself to go back and punch this piece in so you get 200 plus 40, and that gives you your 240 for your final answer. Don't let them take your points away if you do all the hard work. Earn your points by getting the question correct.